Hey YouTube, it's Michelle. Happy Saturday. Hope everybody's doing great. I am coming uh, with a hopefully quick uh, process with me, journal with me. Um, Nick the Booksmith had a process video where she was saying that sometimes you get a bunch of things and you just don't know what to do with them. And that is the case with these little one and a half by two and three fourths Rolodex cards that I have, a box of maybe 500. I mean, literally, I guess you could have put just your ma a mailing label on it uh, for an addresses or what have you. I'm not sure, but anyway, got a box of them. So I wanted to see what I could come up with uh, using these. I also was using um, some business cards that I had and then I got kind of bored. So let's get going here. Um, I've already started distressing uh, one of these cards uh, just to give it a little flair. Uh, they've been around for at least 16 years so they're already pretty manila uh, color in color but just something about putting this vintage photo around the edges uh, really gives it a pop and that's just kind of what we junk journal junkies do right so uh, making sure I get it on both sides so then let me show you what I've been doing to create little books and they end up coming up to be about two and a half inches by uh, one and a half inches uh, when you when I finish so there's that I'll put this here because I know I'm gonna need more so then what I've been doing, because we know washi tape does not stick, so all I've been doing is I've been just running some uh, AT, some of my ATG tape down the side so that when I put the um, washi down, and I have this really pretty washi. This is skinnier than the washi I've been using, so this maybe well we'll see what happens people but i really wanted to do it maybe i could do two pieces well we'll see what happens i'm gonna have to so here's one piece lift it up put the second piece i hope y'all can see this can you see around me put the second piece here yeah i'm gonna have to use two pieces because this is definitely not wide enough. I've been using um, other tape that was wider, but I just wanted to use, I love this floral. I don't think it's Graphic 45, but it looks a lot like that Botanical Tea Collection. So we all, already a glitch in the system. All righty, so there's one half, and of course this is now sticking to the table. Put some on the other half. I like it's because it's the little birds have little crowns. So I'll do this, this up, and are y'all able to see what I'm doing here? Yeah, hopefully. And I always reinforce my washi if I really want it to <laughs> because it just comes up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is some graphic 45 tape. I don't know where I got it. I must think I got it in some Happy Mail, but it sure does look like the Botanical Tea. Now that I'm looking at it more carefully. But anyway, there we go. So, our little book has been the spine, the binding. There we go. There's that. Alrighty. And so then now, I just kind of put some more brown around. Oh, and I have to take off the ATG that is on the sides. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. Fold this in half. There we go. So there we have our little book. Ready? And so um, what I wanted to do, I definitely, I like the writing. So I think what I'm going to do, this is one of Ephemera's Vintage Garden an ATC and I had that on my desk that's what Nick said we're just supposed to be using stuff that we just have around or have bunches of and I am going to put that there 
So I'm kind of eyeballing where I need to cut this off. And I can't cut worth a nickel, so excuse that. All righty, so first things first, I'm gonna put down some cheesecloth just to give it a little bit of something behind it. Great, the glue just took off some of the color from the tape, but that won't be seen because I'm gonna cover over it. I've got some cheesecloth that has been in some tea or coffee, one of the above. And so I'm going to put this down first, which is from, again, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. As a matter of fact, both of these are from an ATC. If you need to know what it is, hit me up and I'll look up the name. Um, at one point, uh, Debbie had a club kind of thing and she was giving out freebies. And I think what ends up happening is folks end up taking advantage of that stuff. So, uh, sometimes they come out, but I get it. When this is your livelihood, you got to do what you got to do. So, this was one. And then I've got this so that it's going like this and this and it makes it together. So, I'm going to put this down. Uh, I'm going to trim it up a little bit. I want to have some of the writing. There we go. So funny, I'd already um, put some of her coffee stained paper, lined paper, um, behind it. So I must have, my idea must have been for these to be journal cards or something. And they've just been around in the pile, along with all the other stuff I have. I'm like trying not to buy anything right now. Alrighty. So here we have this. Okay, and I've already, um, I've got one of uh, Tim Hope's little dolly girly doodaddies here. I thought she would be cute on the front. So I'm going to put her like about right there. And I'm looking at my time. What's my time looking like? Seven minutes. Hey, we're cooking with Crisco. Alrighty. So I wanted the flowers to be seen since I've got my fancy smancy. Uh-oh, what did I just do? There we go. Uh -huh. It's one thing about this Fabri-Tac, it is pretty forgiving. I love how it beads up. So I will trim that in a second. Um, I bought out some laces. So I wanted to put like a piece of lace. And this, it's so funny, you just never know. This was some polyester lace from Hobby Lobby, and boy, did it take to the, do I wanna do this up here, down here? Well, we'll see. All right, so on the back side, uh, I'm going to I'm just distressing the edges so they won't be that dark go like this, but I'm going to match it up as best as I possibly can to get the idea. There we go. Yeah, like that. Looks good. It's the back. So, alrighty. Let's do the something on the inside. Try to put the little book together so that way you can see. So I've been in here pretty much most of the day um, doing some projects. I had some accounting to catch up on. Had a girlfriend come in. She needed uh, the, this conference table. She was doing her kids' projects. I'm telling you what, these little uh, Sunday school projects for these kids are so funny. I showed her my, she laughed at my um, gratitude journals that I made out of six by nine mailers. <laughs> She's like, okay, Michelle. So, all right, what I'm gonna do though is show you how I do my mix. Again, these are all papers from Dollar Tree. This came out of, uh, this paper came out of 
the secretary's desk book. And so um, I just put it together. I usually like it. There's the base color. I like that. Some writing paper, some coffee dyed paper, some graph paper. Uh, this is some. And then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to put the book pages in the center. And then, you know, I did so much distressing with that last project uh, and stenciling that I can't even begin to try to stencil, I mean, uh, distress all this paper. So what I'm doing is taking my scissors, distressing the edges like this. Um, I'm looking at it, it's looking like it may be, it's kind of uneven. Jankity. I've been using my um, large paper trimmer. So all I'm doing is just, just stressing the edges and then hitting them up with the vintage photo. You know, it's funny, they don't make the distress ink and the big ones anymore. I think you just, I have the small ones. I have minis. I have the, I have the full set of the minis. And uh, luckily there is a store, a couple of stores that we have here in Colorado still. Um, Archive is closed and that just about killed me. But um, you've got a few local um, folks and I really do try to um, give them money as opposed to going to Michael's now. Nobody can beat Hobby Lobby prices so it just depends all righty so this is going to be uh, the center I just kind of look at it and see and then this these it's just a glassine baggie and I've been folding it putting it in the center and then adding some fresh flowers so that will go in here let's put something let me see if I have something I can put in here this is looking kind of Boring. Okay, let's see. I have some Nick. This is her. Uh, this was from the Booksmith Classics um, Challenge, and she uh, gave out some ephemera for personal use. And I printed it on three by five, four by six, just to make it to shrink them down. And so, let's put some of that in the front. I think I want to do the book. The book page and this. What am I doing on time? 13 minutes. Stamps. Love it when the sponge gets enough ink that you don't have to re-ink all the time. All right, I've been using this. This is my glue of choice, y'all. And I think uh, Fabric Fix is cheaper, but I just don't know. Sometimes they're not both the same. So I just use my 40% off coupon whenever I need glue. You get it from Hobby Lobby. Try to, Walmart got hip. <laughs> they used to have it cheaper. But the last time I was in Walmart, it was the same price as it was in um, Hobby Lobby. So, all righty, y'all. Except for me sewing the signature in and lacing up the front. So, I will put on my Instagram. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Put a little doodad here. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Debbie Ann. Back, eh, not really caring about it too much. Um, 
I've been putting my business card there. So there's that. And I'll put Handmade by Bruton. And that will go there. We'll sew that up. And voila. All done. All right, y'all. Have a great Saturday. I'm, at, I'm just past 15, but I think we'll be able to load. Take care. Have a great one. I'll post a picture of the finished one on Instagram. Bye.